I know, we're gonna let you go. Do I have a taker? You want to? Got that mitten off. Two fingers. Yep, wrap your hand around. Now just open up, let them fly. There he goes. All right, and this one, he is banded. So we can just let him go. So, well, we'll write down his number. Um, and then, yes, then we can just let him go. All right, so I'm Carrie Nelson. I'm one of the licensed bird banders here on staff. And we're here today at Quarry Hill Nature Center to do some bird banding over winter break. Two fingers under mine. Wrap your hand around. Don't squeeze too tight around the neck. And now just open up your hand and let it go. Yep, open up. <laughs> there you go. Um, so banding helps us uh, do a couple things here at Corey Hill. One, we can start to learn how long some of the species are living, and so it gives us an idea of ages. Um, it also gives us an idea of the population of our species. And then once we kind of get an idea of that, we can start to track to see if we're losing or gaining in those species, especially as the town grows um, and as climate changes, um, we can start to track to see um, how that's going to affect our birds. Uh, and we've been banding uh, since the late 1970s, early 1980s. We've been banding here in the park. So um, our original director, Harry Buck, started it and just has continued on. Uh, I definitely uh, feel like there should be more sports teams called the Fighting Chickadees because uh, they love to bite, they love to peck, they love to do anything they can to get out of your hand. I always just look to see like the condition of the feathers if, you know, um, both the combination of this time of year, most of the birds should be done with their molts. So just checking um, that there isn't a bird that's kind of late in the process of molting out some of those feathers. And then just, all, yeah, condition, just to see if he's had a rough go and they're all tattered and torn up. And he is one from just this fall, so he has not been in our records for long. We have found that some birds, we call it hypnotism, it's not really like that, but some birds, if you kind of hold them upside down like this for a little bit, uh, if you kind of got that nice calming, calming sense to you, you can slowly, after about a minute, open up your hand and the bird will just keep laying in your hand, oh. kind of like it's hypnotized. Goldfinches tend to do it. Chickadees, woodpeckers, a little bit more hyper. Um, they don't like it, but the goldfinches we might have a, a pretty good success with. So, so two fingers under mine. Okay, wrap your hand around. Now just, there you go. And if you guys just hold still there, all right, why don't you very slowly start to open up those fingers. Kind of get it around the, under the head. Open up your hand flat. And he did it. Bird's not dead. We, I can see it breathing. All right, try wiggling a little bit. See if we can wake her up. Keep wiggling. Keep wiggling. <laughs> well, you know, we'll, we'll try something. Here. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to pop them awake.